Hello? Hi, is Terry there? Who's this? Uh, Chief Gary Krill of the West Hannibal Police Department. Yes. Say, I'm calling you about a couple of questions you had about uh, squad video or a camera or something. Yep. And I just want to let you know that I'm at a baseball game uh, right now with my son and I'm off, but I will try to answer questions you have and if we need to follow up with more further detail, we can do it next week if that's all right with you. That's fine. Uh, I already contacted Maple Plain and I forwarded them the email that I sent to you on June 2nd, so they're well aware of what's going on. I forwarded it to the uh, city administrator of Independence, so they know what's going on. So, uh, is, this, is this the Richard Stanek kids call or case that you're asking about? Excuse me? What case is this about? Is it about the damage to property with uh, Stanek? Yes, Mark? it is. Yes, it uh, is. Um, just for a little clarification, just to be, help you out with it a little bit, the, school, the camera that was broken was not a video camera. It was a digital 35 mil or a digital camera for taking photographs. Okay. There is no squad video because it was in Three Rivers Park District, and it was so muddy we couldn't get there. So the officer's too far away, because it's probably a quarter to a half mile into the woods. So we couldn't get the squad in there, and then his video doesn't work that far. So there is no squad video. And the one that wasn't working would have been um, a digital camera, not a squad camera. Oh, well, the thing is, I'm well aware that you have audio recorders, for one thing, and you know, I'm sure you have cell phones that record video. Have and squad, uh, You have uh, cell phones that record video. And yeah, we, didn't, we didn't record video on that, though. Well, I'm I'm sure not, but anyhow. Uh, so, what type of uh, dash cam videos do you have in your squads to start with? We have Arbitrator. Okay, that's the brand name. That's our brand name. Yep. Okay, I haven't heard of that one, but anyhow. So, so yours is you have a microphone that uh, has a, a antenna on it that transmits to the squad. Right, and we're and it only works up to fifteen hundred feet. Okay. Farther away than that, so any any transcriptions of audio we have are not related to the video because we're too far away from it. You can't transmit that far. Right. So the audios we have is a simple uh, digital recorder. You know, like to record to take a. Uh, are you breaking? Was recorded. You're breaking up there. It's just a digital handheld recorder. Then the other, the, the main, the main point that I'm trying, that I'll try to just kind of express to you is that the lead agency on this is the Three Rivers Park Police, not, not us. Well, so I have, I have a report from your agency, and that's where I had that information. That's where I quoted it out of. That's where I put it in the email. But yep. any, the anyhow. Uh, so, were any picture taken of uh, Ryan Stanek's truck? Because the the pictures I received are uh, don't have any pictures of Ryan Stanek's pickup there at all. I, you know, I I'd have to follow up to answer for sure. My what I know off the top of my head is that boy, I don't know if we took any or not. I know there were a bunch taken during the day by Three Rivers Park Police because I. I saw my officer in his report where he assisted the park police is that it said follow-up or pictures need to be taken during the day because it couldn't show the extent of the damages. So I know Three Rivers Park went back the following morning or about four hours later when I got light out. And they took the well, uh, I have an uh, uh, email box full of 150 emails from park River, or Three Rivers Park Police with uh, one picture on each email and not a single one of them is Ryan Stanek's pickup. In fact, the news report had to have a picture from Facebook, apparently. Facebook, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw it on the news from Facebook as well. Right, so uh, that's so I'm trying to figure out why why would those pictures be missing from a, a felony investigation. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'll be honest, I do not know where they're at with their investigation. So. What we did is we assisted, it, it started off the sheriff
Sheriff's Department assisted Three Rivers, because Three Rivers Park Police wasn't working at that time of the morning. Uh-huh. They don't have officers working. Right. So the, then the Sheriff's Department took over the case. They, they saw that it was a conflict of interest to them with the Sheriff's son, so they called us over there to assist them. And when it became morning, it then became the Three Rivers Park Police's investigation because it's their jurisdiction. So we gave everything to them. So they must have released my report to you because I don't remember releasing any, anything at all. Did they, did they give it to you? Yes, I have it. That's how I got that quote. Okay. All right. And I'm just asking because I didn't oh, that's, know. Oh, that's no problem. I have no problem answering those questions. The, the problem is, though, that I have uh, a case of a 17-year-old who uh, was arrested in similar situation, and you have uh, a high-profile, uh, the son of a high-profile, well, it, it, uh, an elected official's son isn't arrested. So you can see where there's, you know, a parent, uh, you know, she was charged, arrested and charged immediately. And as far as I know, there are no charges against Ryan Stanick at this time. And I don't know that answer, so that would be a question I'd have to follow up with the park police on Monday next week or whatever next week. I don't know if he has been or not either, because as soon as, as, soon as my officer did his report, I called the chief personally and said, hey, this is your jurisdiction. And he goes, yep, it is. We'll be handling it from here. So uh, we, haven't done, we haven't done anything with it since then. Right. Or will we? plan on doing any more with it. It's their case. Right, but you were there at the time and you could have easily arrested him is my point. We could have, um, but in that particular case, it's property damage. It's a damaged property crime. We don't always arrest on that. I mean, today we arrested four people this morning for um, trying to steal a generator off of um, off of a a scissor list in Maple Plain, uh-huh. and uh, we could, didn't have enough evidence at the time, and we just let three of them go, and we put one to jail, the main perpetrator. So just by a case-by-case basis, and I think further investigation needed to be done. You know, we didn't know if it was well, $1,000 or if it was $10,000 to fix that well, property. Well, 1000 is still a felony. Well, or 900 you know what I mean. All right. So we cases where we're not sure and we know who the people are, for us, it's not uncommon to gather information, gather the facts, try to get more factual evidence the next day or two. We let the people go that night. As long as we don't believe they're a flight risk, we don't necessarily always arrest and put people in jail. Well, that's true. You could have issued a citation, too. Again, this... Yeah, but, but we wouldn't want to... We didn't know what the value was, so right. if we issue them a citation... And it ends up being a felony, which it could be. I mean, it uh, most likely it, would be over a thousand. Yeah. If we issue him a citation, he can quickly run in and pay, plead guilty to that citation, which would only be a misdemeanor, and then we can't recharge him again for the felony. So that's why we hold off until we know exactly what well, the thoughts are. My understanding we'll, is we'll get jammed up on that. Yeah, my understanding is you can issue a, a citation for a felony. No, you cannot. Okay, so, well, I'll let no, you. Can only, you can only issue a citation for a misdemeanor. Okay. Uh, gross misdemeanors have to be done by formal complaint or a tab charge, and felonies, formal complaint, or probable cause complaints as well. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the case number for this teenager. It's 34JV13199. And her name is Angeli, uh, Angela Marie. T A D Y C H Tadich. Is there any way you can email that to me, Terry? Just because I'm at a baseball game, I can't write that down right now. Well, that's fine. I the only problem is I emailed you something before and you didn't respond to me. So, but I, I will certainly email this information to you again. So. Okay. All right. But actually, your city administrator already has it because I emailed her the same information and I emailed it to uh, again Maple Plain. So. Okay. So, I mean, um, in, in reality, you actually already do have it, so. I do? Well, you work for both Maple Plain and City of, 
uh, independence, right? Yeah, we're our own, we're our own entity. Or, so, right. I, I've already gone through that little. Yep. Yep. That yeah. whole. Yeah, I understand. I understand how that works. That's why I asked for the joint powers agreement, which, of course, the mayor's signed, so the city's responsible for your actions and that type of thing. So, I understand all that. So, so what are you looking from from us at this point? Well, uh, for one thing, I again exactly what my email asked for. You know, the 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 repair on that electrical device. You know, is I according to the Maplewood. Uh, policy and procedure manual. That information, all those things, are supposed to be checked prior to going out on a shift. Yeah, and I'll explain that in in a letter. I guess to you that we didn't. It wasn't broken. Okay, so operator error or something like that. Too far away. Okay. We can't because the distance between where the squad car is parked and the wireless mic that the, the officer wears too far away. Okay. After 1,500 feet, it doesn't work, and they're farther than that because they had to walk in. They just couldn't drive in because everybody was stuck, obviously. Right, right. So, I, again, which would tell me that you would have ample evidence to see that there's extensive damage there, so and we should have plenty, plenty of probable cause to put some cuffs on people. But anyhow, I'm not going to sit there and argue that. Uh, I will. Uh, right. I will email. I will email you that uh, information. Okay. So, and I do appreciate your call. All right. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Bye now. Yep.